Hey everyone, how's it going? John here from Hi-Fi Headphones. And for this video, I'll be running you through our best earphones so far for 2018. The West Tone W80. West Tone's W80 earphones may cost a packet, but they are worth the expense for anyone who wants the very best from their music. We're seasoned listeners here and have tried many earphones, but the W80 impresses us as if we'd only just tried our first pair of decent earphones. Everything in the recording is reproduced and nothing is left out. If there was a rock fall on the moon whilst the recording was made, we'd know about it. Imaging and soundstage is shockingly good as well, with pinpoint imaging and separation. The sound is fairly even amongst the W80's eight balanced armature drivers. No particular frequency stands out when comparing bass, mid-range and treble. Sub-bass is particularly emphasised with dance music, but it remains well behaved if not needed and keeps to itself. In all, it might be a price topper, but it's also a showstopper. The Audazee iSign 20 Audazee's iSign 20 is an unusual design for an earphone in that it's open-backed and there's no isolation, so it's best used in a quiet place. Another unusual feature for an earphone is the driver, which is planar magnetic. This is good news for fans of quality bass, although bass heads may want a little more. There's a strong sense of openness, unsurprisingly, with mid-range sounding rich, pure and very musical. Preble is smooth, but this is not to be mistaken for lack of detail. It's all there. It's just not pushed up to the listener. All in all, an excellent earphone, but not perhaps the best for use when out and about. The Dunu DK3001 Dunu has no shortage of earphones at various prices, but the DK3001 is at the top of their current offerings. Sporting a hybrid arrangement of drivers, it has one dynamic and three balanced armature drivers in each capsule. This gives a refined and compelling bass with good low extension, together with the fine details courtesy of the balanced armatures. There is a slight emphasis on bass and treble, and a little presence on the upper mid-range, making it good for vocals and acoustic presentations. The build quality and cable is rugged, so these should last for a fair few commutes if you're putting them to that use, or for a few mountain climbs if you're feeling more adventurous. The Sennheiser IE800S Sennheiser's follow-up to the well-known IE800 is so new we haven't had a chance to try them yet, but they promise to be as good as their esteemed forerunner, plus a bit more. According to Sennheiser, they give a detailed, lifelike sound image, with more top-end presence and greater bass extension. With a single dynamic driver in each capsule, there's not much change from Sennheiser's typical in-ear fare. But the new IE800S boasts a dual-chamber absorber system, which helps to improve the masking effect. I won't bore you with too much detail on this, but it improves the sound of the earphones when listening at low volume levels. The Oravetti New Primacy the current preeminent model of Orivetti's range, the new Primacy offers a hybrid driver configuration composed of two balanced armature and one single dynamic driver inside each sleek capsule. The base is well-rounded yet tight and with good impact. It's not overdone as it's balanced well with the rest of the sound. Mids are airy and clear whilst the treble adds a touch of sparkle without any troublesome peaks. The cable on the new Primacy is a braided affair which is both strong and supple at the same time, with a 90 degree jack. Like coffee, these are available in either black or mocha, so watch out or they will keep you up at night. The Wizzer A15 Pro. Wizzer is a relatively new brand which is showing a lot of promise with its current offerings, one of which is the A15 Pro model. The capsules are sleek and comfortable with a fairly neutral sound with a warm touch. The bass is well extended but not too present, with a clear and smooth mid-range and treble. Designed with a single dynamic driver per capsule, the A15 Pro has a vent on the inner portion, which has a little bit of sound affecting the bowl of the ear, giving the effect of a larger soundstage. Build quality is solid, very impressive for an earphone at this price. 
The Final E2000. Final is one of those brands which has something for everyone, and their newest entry level model is exceptionally good for the money. The E2000 small cylindrical capsules house a tiny single 6.4mm dynamic driver each, but it's not the size, it's what they do with it that counts. The sound is fairly neutral with bass which can be a little loose, but it's well behaved. Mid-range is flat with no troublesome peaks, and treble is bright and airy without giving any chance of earache. For the asking price, the final E2000 is an excellent introduction in what's possible if you want to upgrade from stock earphones received from your phone. The Etymotic ER3, XR and SE Building on the long success of the ER4 models, Etymotic has introduced a lower cost version of its most recent ER4 iterations, the ER4 SR and ER4 XR. Known for their crystal clear mid-range, these models have spawned the ER3 series, which sound identical to their stablemate. If you are bass shy, then try the SE version. The XR version has a little more bass presence, but both can be described as neutral, with perhaps a little more emphasis on the mid-range. Sporting a single balanced armature per side, these earphones do need to be inserted deeply, but offer some of the best isolation available. The Soundmagic ST80 Why is there no wireless option on this list? We hear you cry. Well, wireless earphones are getting very common now and we wanted our top 10 list to be special. But just for you, the ST80 is wireless, if you want it that way. The ST80 from Soundmagic comes with a cable, but this can be replaced with a wireless cord complete with controls and battery. So you can enjoy the convenience of wireless listening but with the cable as a backup. The ST80 has a good design for exercising with turnable ear hooks and a pivoted sound port so you can get a perfect and reliable fit. The single dynamic driver design gives strong bass to keep you going. So that was our roundup for 2018. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if you did and there is more information on each product down below. Thanks for watching and happy listening. Thank you.